I love that music. The Paralympics are now in full swing in Pyeongchang, South Korea today. A lot of impressive talent from around the world will be out on the slopes, on the ice, and more. Over the next two weeks, their dedication, incredible. And this morning, NBC's Carrie Sanders takes us to the inspirational camp that's helping the next generation of disabled athletes reach for their own Olympic dreams. Go! Look hard and you'll still miss it. Watching these newfound friends, both competitive skiers, race down the slopes. What you can't see is the uphill battle it's taken each of them to get here. If I just look at you, I wouldn't even know that you're skiing with a prosthetic. I know. Jesse Keith likes it that way, but below the knees, there's more than just skis. Helping this 13-year-old turn life's mountains into moguls. Missing part of his right leg and hand since birth, Jesse has always been the kid who's different until he came here to Camp Unlimited, letting teenage amputees see their abilities. You're looking at me, right? <laughs> bringing hope to the slope at no cost to their families, made possible these past 15 years by Shriners Hospitals for Children. And it is here Jesse met his match. Santiago Vega. Santiago Vega. Working towards the finish. A Camp Unlimited alum headed to his second Paralympics. Step into the next ski. Born with the exact same disabilities as Jesse. It's so crazy that he just happens to have the exact same thing that I have. Both were made whole in this high-tech lab at Shriners Hospital in Salt Lake City. Santi was the first one that we did one of these on. But what follows after, perhaps the greatest gift, newfound confidence. The kids themselves saying, I went back home and I wore a short sleeve shirt for the first time to school. I wore shorts for the first time. I let my friends know that I was an amputee. Like Marsha L, teased as a child, she used to hide her missing leg under heavy clothes. Would I know that you have a disability when you're skiing? Some people really don't know. Like, you really didn't notice? Good, so it doesn't really exist. If you see a leg, just pick it up. I'm, I need it to go home. <laughs> yes. Most head home changed. Some, like Santiago, are headed from here to Pyeongchang. When you see him doing what he's doing on his way to the Olympics, what do you think? Oh, he's kind of inspiring to me. How's he going to do in the Olympics? I'm rooting for him, but... Oh. <laughs> That's a little yeah. pressure. That's a little pressure now. <laughs> Focused not on what they're missing, but what they've gained by going out on a limb. For today, Carrie Sanders, NBC News, Park City, Utah. No way I can keep up with these guys. <laughs> How fantastic is that? They're just leaving Carrie in their snow dust. <laughs> Any time, you know, you'd be like, oh, I don't know if I can do that, or I don't think I can do that. You see stories like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is just... So yeah. inspirational. That, uh, that young lady in the piece, what'd she say? Which, yeah, if you see a leg, pick it up. <laughs> good sense of humor. That was very good. And you can watch the Paralympics today starting at 1 o'clock Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, only on NBC. All right. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.